classical cinema and television, computer games, monitors and smartphones always only depict a limited detail of the world, a sort of tunnel vision. Humans, however, have a 180-degree field of vision. Paired with head movements, we easily register 360 degrees as a whole. A similar effect is enabled through VR glasses, like the Oculus Rift or HTC Vive. However, this is only possible for individual persons. Groups of people can be surrounded by a 360-degree picture through projector installations. Such solutions are being developed at the Fraunhofer Institute Focus in Berlin. The projections range from curved screens to domes right up to whole spheres that completely surround the viewer. In addition to these projection solutions, the business unit, Viscom, Visual Computing of Fraunhofer Focus, has developed methods for 360-degree cameras that enable the live transmission of a 360-degree scene. Since projectors were developed for rectangular projection on a straight wall, the picture of the projectors must be equalized in real time in order to achieve a correct projection on curved surfaces. To cover the entire screen, the projections overlap at their edges. Within the overlap area, the brightness of the projections is adjusted so that there is a uniform brightness throughout the picture. This method is called soft edge blending. First of all, a projection is planned. For this, Focus has developed the Configurator software. In this, one can choose the form of the screen, which could be a dome, a curved screen, or any other shape. Subsequently, the appropriate projectors are chosen and placed in the virtual scene. One can see the exact rays of the projectors and which areas of the screen are covered by the individual projections. The resulting brightness relations on the surface are analyzed, thereby the optimal number and positions of the projectors can be easily adjusted. Once a suitable configuration has been found, it is actually set up in the real world. However, the projector parameters, as well as the position and orientation, never exactly correspond to the model. Therefore, initially, the pictures of the projections will not exactly fit together. In order to achieve a pixel-accurate projection, the position, orientation, shearing and lens distortion of the projectors is automatically measured. This process is called projector auto-calibration, or auto-alignment. For this, special patterns are projected and recorded using a camera. After a few calculations, the position of each projector pixel in relation to the screen is known, and the picture can be adjusted correspondingly. This is implemented using warping meshes and blend masks. The result is an overall seamless projection which is pixel accurate. In projections on curved surfaces, appropriate content is displayed that suits the screen's form. On a curved screen, conventional pictures and films are portrayed like an unfurled tapestry. In a dome, full dome films or fisheye pictures are shown. Videos in the 360 degree format can also be shown. Additionally, combined content can be displayed. For example, conventional rectangular pictures or videos. These are selected via the show manager and combined in real time. It is also possible to display live videos. The difference to authoring tools of conventional media player software is that the animation of the media is not based on a flat rectangular screen, but on a sphere that surrounds the observer. Thereby, a movement is defined by latitude and longitude angles and not by XY coordinates. This allows for the intuitive projection of a picture on the edge of the dome in full 360 degrees. The player for multimedia shows created like this can run on a single computer or also in a PC cluster, synchronized on multiple computers. In the overview on the master PC, information about the individual computers can be seen.
The Fraunhofer Focus provides an SDK so that warping software can be incorporated into external products. Further, it is possible to execute the warping and blending in the driver of the graphics board. The result is a normal Windows desktop on the curved screen or in the dome on which any program can be executed. It is also possible to execute the warping in a warping box which is positioned between the graphic output of the computer and the input of the projectors. With a number of cameras grouped together, a 360-degree camera can be implemented, even in 3D stereo. The picture of the individual cameras is put together to a total 360-degree picture in equirectangular projection. There also is a cross-fading between the individual pictures. For this purpose, Fraunhofer Focus has developed a solution for live stitching. The special feature of this solution is that it holds a complete geometric model of the camera cluster so that a 360-degree camera can be adjusted for various distance ranges, similar to the focus adjustment of a conventional camera. In the Visual Computing Lab, augmented reality applications are also being developed. In this mixed reality, the visual real world is enriched with additional information. For example, here one sees the view of three cameras, which are attached to a diving robot. They are put together into a seamless panoramic view. This view is enriched with additional overlays. Thereby, one can overlay a grid for better orientation in the darkness underwater, which represents the surface of the sea floor. With virtual pin needles, interesting places on the ocean floor can be marked, or they represent areas that have already been inspected. In this example, sensors distributed throughout the city are visualized on a tablet. Thereby, one can access weather data, traffic density or values of environmental pollution in real time. In the visual computing lab of Fraunhofer Focus, various solutions around 360-degree pictures, projections, VR and AR are being developed. More than 130 installations in 13 different countries are already run with the Fraunhofer Focus multi-projection software. In the past 10 years, far more than 600 licenses were sold.